Hello, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading starting the week of October the 1st up until October the 8th. Also, please do remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the reading. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love, blessings, and abundance for your love and support. And for personal readings, I now have openings. So please do check the description box below. With Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right. Hello, hello, my beautiful Geminis. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies. Oh, wow, look at this. The Empress, absolutely beautiful. And we have not even yet started your reading. You're here being represented by this gorgeous, beautiful Empress, full of power, full of joy in your strength here. Oh, wow. You guys are coming across with a lot of confidence. You know, it's sort of like you've already come out of the doom and gloom. You're no longer afraid. You are fearless. You are magnetic. You are magnifying radiance. Okay. This is absolutely gorgeous. And guess what? These are the powers of manifestations. When you are standing here in the power of the Empress or or the emperor, whatever it is, whether you're male or female, this is such empowering energy where you start drawing in vibrations and people and places and things and just manifestations that are that are up to par with your highest vibration, with your highest self, with the highest level of who you want to become. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful energies there to start off your reading. Happy, happy first day of October, October 1st. And I wish you all the best, all of your wishes coming true for this month of October. I do sense the energies that it will be a very fruitful month for you, my beautiful Geminis. What do we have for Geminis this week? Wow, look at this. So getting all of your wishes fulfilled without having to invest too much effort. That's absolutely beautiful. Saving energies, right? Saving your energy. I feel here because you guys have learned so much from your past, a lot of lessons, Geminis, you guys are now manifesting effortlessly. Wow, beautiful. All right, so always remember that energies are fluid if I'm not talking about you. It's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember that this can be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. Also, since it is a general reading, Always remember that I do tend to pick up on energies uh, other than love, okay? Meaning other than romantic love. It could pertain to work. It could pertain to projects. It could pertain to family. Anything that resonates with you, open your mind. Keep an open mind, okay? And see what resonates with your current reality and what you want to manifest, all right? And also remember that energies can be reversed. So for you cross watchers, welcome, welcome. You can reverse the energies, whether you're a cross watcher or not, you can reverse the energies if you feel the need to do so, if you feel that they fit better that way. All right, Geminis, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Oh, wow. Again, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So again, manifesting. You know, since the first card that popped out was that of the Empress, that's just you learning how to manifest without putting too much pressure on, on yourself. You know, it's sort of like you're coming out of this energy of an old paradigm. You're shifting paradigms, okay? And you're coming out of this old paradigm belief system where you kind of thought that you had to work very hard to get your wishes to be fulfilled. Maybe you felt like you had to um, ask a lot of questions. Maybe you felt like you had to ask people for advice before making that move, perhaps if you're dealing with a love romance, um, romantic relationship, perhaps you kind of felt like you had to be the pursuer. You always constantly had to be the one sending the first message, making the first phone call, initiating the first form of action. 
towards this connection, but guess what? No more. You are dropping this sense of having to work so hard for what it is that you want to manifest because I feel here, again, you're shifting paradigms. You are getting in touch with a brand new timeline that says, Gemini, you've already done the work. You already have all the knowledge. It's like kind of like going to school. You you have already graduated. You have all the knowledge, but there's still a part of uh, there lingering that tells you, well, you know what? You still haven't learned, you know, enough. You have to go and now get get the second, you know, form of validation, right? It's it's all validation. But I feel here that look at this. All of this happiness, all of this joy is coming into your life in the month of October happiness, joy, bliss, confidence, the magician energy. What did I tell you? I mean, just the fact that these two are here together is saying, Gemini, you are learning how to tap into the energies of the alchemist, of the magician, of turning nothing to something in, in the most magical of ways, just by staying positive, just by having the courage to jump in when you know the time is right to jump in, having the confidence, having the self, you know, self-esteem level of, of you knowing knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing that, you know what, you don't have to continue fighting and fighting for something that you know you already are or you know you deserve. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, positive energies here. Yeah, you guys are ready to explore greener pastures. You're ready to move on from an old belief system of having to work too hard, having to put in a lot of effort, put in a lot of work again, you know, and you're shifting over into a new reality. You're coming in very, very magnetic. Look at this. Very, very magnetic. You want a new start. You want a new beginning here for the month of October. And guess what? You are getting it. You are getting it in the form of happiness. Happiness is coming your way. Happiness is, is being exuded by you. And that's why you are starting to vibrate at this higher level where you're starting to attract people, places, things, whatever it is that is for your brand new vibration. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous energy. Let's go ahead and see what exactly this, I want to know what this night of wands is. You were dealing with a very fickle energy. I will say that. This is a very fickle energy. Yeah. And you know what? You embracing this energy, this beautiful, gorgeous energy of being empowered, being in your power, being in your strength. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. This is you. This is the emperor and the empress being represented, whether you're male or female. You are just coming in so strongly, Gemini. This is absolutely beautiful. And the fact that you now know your worth, you know your value, and you're no longer willing to fight really, really hard for something that you know is not yours, this is what's going to... It's like it's going to create a breakthrough moment. Whatever toxicity, whatever connections no longer serve you, they're just going to fall just by themselves. It's going to be like it's going to be natural. It's going to be like just by you being you, you being represented here in your power, in your strength, in your confidence, you're naturally going to you're naturally going to be attracted to higher vibrations and those old vibrations of toxicity will no longer attach themselves to you. It's going to be a very natural transition I feel here for you. Some of you guys might be dealing with, let's see, we see here, I see Capricorn, I see Sagittarius, any of the fire signs, Aries here, okay, uh, Leo, it could be a Leo that you're dealing with, any of the earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, okay, uh, any of the water signs, I see all of the signs across the board here, but like I said, I feel here that you were dealing with a kind of like a very fickle energy, very in and out, but this all has to do with their critical malicious thoughts about themselves, you're dealing with a person who has a lack of self-esteem and the fact that they see you thriving, they see you moving forward, they see you attracting brand new things into your life. I'm telling you, it's not making them feel at their best, okay? It's kind of making them feel like they're being left behind and I don't feel like you're leaving them behind. Maybe some of you guys are. Maybe some of you guys, a group of you guys are leaving this toxic connection behind, but others of you guys, you guys are just willing to or have been willing to move forward with your own life, making and taking charge of your own life because you don't want to wait around for this person anymore. Again, like I said, some of you guys are starting to realize, you know what? I've already put in enough effort. I've already made the calls. 
I've already told this person how I feel. And it's like you keep getting this hot, cold energy. And I feel here that this week, at least for this week, you're ready to embrace your own energy. You're ready to embrace your own happiness. You're ready to embrace your own opportunities because you see that you have opportunities on the horizon. And maybe for some of you guys, you guys weren't willing to jump in fully because you're still, you were still waiting for this fickle energy. But again, this person here needs healing. They need healing. And I do sense that a lot of you guys were offering your compassion towards this person, but this person has this tendency of changing constantly. It's like, as soon as they tell you that they're going to do one thing, they end up doing the other, right? And so I do feel here that you've already offered enough humility, enough compassion, and you've communicated very, very clearly to this person, but this person is the one that now needs to do work on themselves. And if you guys are trying to kind of let some time go by between you guys so that this person can kind of, you know, get it together in a sense. I feel that it's going to serve this person for, for a better outcome because during this interim, I feel here that your person is going to face some kind of denial, the denial that they do love you, that they do want to be with you, but unfortunately their fears are stopping them. This person is dealing with some kind of abandonment issues, some kind of trauma from their past that has led this person to sabotage this beautiful, gorgeous, connection and they're the ones that are feeling left out in the cold but they refuse to ask you for help this person uh would like the help but it's like they have this ego about them that they refuse to to get the help that they need from you does that make sense like they don't like to show vulnerability even though they don't believe in themselves this person has a lack of self-esteem and especially now that they see you dropping this burden and seeing you thrive they're seeing you thrive they're seeing you moving forward they're seeing you maybe a lot of good things have come your way because you have decided to to, to change perspectives, you know, now you're more focused on what's going to work for you in a, in a more, in a more genuine, um, flowing kind of way where you don't have to work too hard to get the attention of people. You don't have to work too hard to prove yourself. It's like you, you already know that you are worthy of getting and receiving all of your manifestations, but let's go ahead and see what this eight of pentacles is for Gemini. What is this eight of pentacles for Gemini? Yeah, see, your person does want a commitment. They do love you. They do want to reach some kind of a compromise at the end of the day. But what you want here, see, these are the counterparts, you guys. These are the counterparts, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. These two belong together. This is marriage. This is two people that have come together to, it's like to work together in tandem to create something new. It's like, I do sense here that you, whatever time you guys have been given um, to one another, like space, you know, maybe you have been giving this person space, this person put space in between you guys, distance, whatever. I feel here that, you know, you have been trying to help this person because you mean well, because you want this connection. But I feel here that this person, yes, they also want it, but they lack the belief in themselves. It's like they don't believe that they can be loved the way that the way that you know you can love them. Does that make sense? It's it's like very, it's very, very self-sabotaging. So I do feel here that you guys will have an opportunity in the near future, Gemini, for you guys to make it work together. You guys are gonna start working together as a team. Perhaps you guys have in mind like a team project, maybe how to help the world in some kind of way. Maybe you guys have some kind of business that you guys want to get involved in together. Okay, something having to do with a project project, uh, something, wanting to build something together. I feel here that you guys are going to come in together as both of you guys being represented as uh, having magician energy, having the power of the universe at play here. And I do feel here that you guys, you guys are going to have an opportunity to make something work together in tandem. But as soon as this person starts uh, allowing the vibration of confidence in their life, okay? But I do feel here that there is a high high potential for you guys to reignite whatever it is that you guys had going for you, which is in the form of passion, in the form of connecting, in the form of relating to one another, you guys will have the opportunity to reignite the passion between you two, to reignite the potential for this connection, to reignite this project, whatever it is that you guys had planned, whatever plans you guys had for the future, it's going to come into fruition. So I do like seeing that. But as soon as you guys stop putting in so much effort, it's like you don't have to beg 
like anybody, Gemini, to pay attention to you. I feel here that as soon as you 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 retract that energy of wanting something so bad, you stop putting resistance on the relationship, on the connection, on your desire, on your manifestation, whatever it is that you're working towards. Okay. Remember, it could be in the form of family, it could be in the form of friends, love. Uh, work-related connections, whatever it is. But I do feel here that you're going to have to start owning your own um, power, your own strength, knowing that you've already done the work, Gemini. Now it's time for this person to rise up to your level to show what they truly mean to you, okay? Because I feel like you you have already showed this person what you mean to them, you know? And I feel here that now it's their turn. All right, Geminis, but let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you this week. I love this beautiful love story coming together in a very slow kind of way, needing a little bit of patience, but I feel here that you're not wasting time. I feel here, Gemini that you are just kind of like continuing on living your own life. You're not waiting around for anyone. It's just that you're being more patient. It's more the energy of patience. It's not the energy of waiting, which I love. I love that. Wow. Overcoming difficulty. See, between you and this relationship, you and this connection, both of you guys are learning from each other and you guys are both overcoming difficulties. Here we have Angel Jeremiel. The worst is now behind you, Gemini, and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, you've already done the work. You've already done whatever it is that you have to do. You are now, it's like you are worthy of manifesting whatever it is that you want into your current reality. And here we have perfect timing. See, everything will come in perfect timing. This person is healing their heart chakra. There's something having to do with their self-esteem that they need to heal. They have to believe that, they, that they're able to receive love, the type of love that only Gemini can give. Perfect timing. Now is a perfect moment, Gemini, for you to act on your inspirations. Look at how happy your inspirations are going to make you. They're gonna make you so happy and so blissful. The doors are open, Gemini. Gemini, while you walk through them with us by your side, don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side. What did I tell you? You are attracting brand new vibrations that vibe, like it's just high vibe, high vibe people, very positive energies that are here willing to support you, guide you, protect you into whatever it is that you want to create for your new reality. And here we have everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Positive outcome indeed. This is what I have for you, Gemini. But I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did. And let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.